DHCP, Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is one of the most used networking protocols in network world. We use DHCP for automatic IP allocation, and this IP allocation is done through different DHCP messages. But hackers can use this DHCP message as a malicious threat to our networks. So, to prevent our network from DHCP attacks, we use DHCP snooping. In this lesson, we will see what is DHCP snooping detail, but Basically, let's make a definition. We give some uh, values as trusted and uh, untrusted to the ports uh, for DHCP. And uh, in the untrusted port, DHCP snooping mechanisms check the DHCP message and do not allow hackers to come into our network and give us IP addresses or to, make, uh, to use our uh, DHCP server port harmfully, etc. Before explaining the ACP snooping mechanism, let's talk about some uh, attacks that can be done through the ACP message. Here, I'll draw a switch, a switch here also, and a switch here. This is our network, and a uh, DHCP server here he will give us our IP addresses and we are here now this is our PC in normal uh, operation uh, we send a DHCP discovery message this is broadcast message so it goes to everywhere in the network uh, it means that I would like to get an IP address. So are there any DHCP server over there? So normally DHCP server uh, replies at us with DHCP offer message. Remember, there were DORA messages, the four common uh, DHCP messages. Discovery, offer, request, and egg. Ek messages. These are common uh, messages in DHCP. But here, the attacker, the hacker in our network, or uh, he creates a server. His server is this. We can say that a Robu DHCP server or attacker's DHCP server. It sends a DHCP offer message earlier than our DHCP server. So we determine this server as our uh, DHCP server and uh, this attacker gives uh, IP address to our devices. But uh, he gives, for example, uh, his IP address as uh, a default gave IP address. So our traffic goes through the attackers device and then to other world so this can be also a man in the middle attack in the second DHCP attack example uh, here there's an hacker and this time he used DHCP discovery methods Remember, Dora, the first one, the first uh, one is discovery. He sends a lot of discovery messages. Are there any DHCP server or there? He's asking. And this DHCP server is replying too much. And uh, he has got a IP pool. There are IPs here. He replies replies again, replies again, and a lot of replies, then at the end, IP pool become unavailable or ex exhaust, this IP pool exhaust. So he cannot give our devices uh, or any other new devices in the network, uh, I, he cannot give IP addresses to these devices. Do you know detective gadgets? He is a cartoon character and one of the most important characters in my childhood. So, what is the relationship with 
detective gadget and DSCP snooping. DSCP snooping is also a detective in our system for DSCP operations. So here there are port roles uh, that are configured for uh, DSCP snooping configuration, trusted ports, and untrusted ports. DHCP snooping mechanisms uh, do not check the trusted ports, but it always check the, checks the uh, methods uh, that are sent through these untrusted uh, ports. These methods are uh, generally the uh, DHCP DORA methods, especially the discovery message and uh, offer message. So let's uh, draw a Topology here. This is our network, and this is our DHCP server. These are PCs, and here uh, normally we get our uh, DCP, our IP addresses from the DCP server. So for a trustful DCP operation, we configure these ports as trusted because they are the ports through the DCP server. Especially these ports are also configured as trusted ports. And what about untrusted ports? These untrusted ports are generally the host ports, these ports. The DHCP messages uh, coming from these ports are always uh, checked and uh, any DHCP attacks here coming from here is prohibited. And uh, these uh, DHCP snooping mechanisms do not allow these attacks. There is also another uh, mechanism uh, used by DHCP snooping and it is rate limiting. With rate limiting, uh, we can uh, prevent uh, too much uh, DCP messages. For example, we can prevent uh, too much uh, DCP discovery messages. Uh, remember this topology. For example, these uh, are uh, our this is our network, and uh, these PCs are our network's PC. So they would like to receive a IP address, so they will send DCP discovery message. And this is an untrusted port. Uh, so uh, with rate limiting, this will be, be uh, accepted, but too much uh, discovery message will be blocked. And uh, again, this port and this PC will be uh, recorded to the CP binding table with different parameters. So we uh, will uh, say this table that this uh, is a trusted, and uh, this is our uh, network's device, and this is uh, uh, connected to the untrusted port, but this is our network's device. So, uh, besides this, uh, DCP snooping uh, must be enabled uh, before using. Normally, it's not enabled. We can uh, do this with for one VLAN or uh, multiplayer VLAN. There is also uh, another uh, mechanism uh, used by uh, DCP snooping. Uh, it is weight limiting. Weight limiting. This uh, configuration is uh, limit the uh, message uh, number coming from an interface, especially for DCP discover, uh, discovery uh, messages. For example, these are our network devices. For example, this PC also a network device, PC1, PC2. So he will send a DCP discovery message to get an IP address. Uh, so uh, this can be ex ex acceptable uh, message type, but if too much uh, discovery message came to here, 
with rate limit we can limit this and can uh, we don't accept this message uh, beside this um, there are tcp binding tables are used with uh, dcp snooping with these uh, tables we uh, determine the trusted uh, pcs uh, trusted devices in our network so we write this uh, PC1 and PC2 with their IP addresses so we, we here we are saying that uh, these devices are our devices and we can uh, assign IP addresses to these devices and they can send DSCP messages uh, this uh, DSCP snooping uh, must be enabled uh, at the devices because, uh, because uh, by default it is not enabled and we can uh, configure a DCP snooping for one VLAN or multiply VLANs. There is also an additional uh, security mechanism for uh, DCP. It is uh, done with DCP option 82. This is uh, used uh, for uh, the devices uh, that are that want to communicate with the uh, DSCP servers on another network. So uh, this is a detailed lesson. So for uh, this course, we will not explain it detailly. You can remember it as DSCP relay agent info information.